hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to paint two uh, flower areas or uh, flower meadows so i have uh, this sheet of a4 size and i have divided this into two equal halves with the help of masking tape you can use any other medium to divide this but make sure to use masking tape because today i'm going to paint uh, uh, with two different technique the first one is dry on wet and second one is wet on wet so in the first one we will keep our sheet dry and we are going to use wet color to paint uh, flowers leaves and stems so let's start with the first one so let's start creating a small small flower I'm doing these kind of flowers which is quite simple you just need to apply a little pressure into your brush and move your brush towards left and right to create these small small uh, petals to create flowers uh, you can use same technique to create different other flowers as well you can refer to my previous video wherein I have shown you how we can create tiny tiny small small uh, flowers so those flowers you can utilize in here and fill this particular area with the flowers so I'm using these two flowers as of now and then with the help of green color I'm adding stems and a group of leaves I'm keeping these things very simple and small so that uh, you can easily uh, refer to this particular pa painting to make something else uh, as per your need Otherwise, uh, you can add more uh, petals to make it multi-layer flower and uh, keep adding stems and leaves in between I want to keep the lower portion a little bushier as compared to the upper one so I'll keep adding uh, green elements and uh, uh, leaves and foliages in this particular area so I'm adding little longer leaves with the help of sap green color smaller leaves with the help of deep green color those kind of things I'm also adding few more flowers with the help of yellow color these are very simple flower I think I don't need to explain you how I have painted these things but you can definitely refer to my previous videos and then with the help of blue uh, green colors so i have mixed blue and green together to get something like this this is towards blue as compared to the green and then keep adding leaves and foliages use different shape different color those kind of things and uh, we are making sure in this particular version that we can see flowers leaves and stems clearly because we are using dry on wet technique to do this so this might be a little difficult but if you are finding this one difficult then you can refer to the second version what I am going to create after this that one is very very much simple as compared to this one as well although this one is also quite simple I can add a few more flowers in between so I'm using red color for those and I think it's enough and for the sky section i'm adding blue color i'm using cobalt blue and with the help of clean water i'm mixing this just to get the hint of pink and blue in the sky and we are almost done with this particular one you can glaze a layer of water in the uh, foliages uh, that is also something you can do but make sure your previous paint have dried completely 
now let's start with the second one so second one is wet on wet technique wherein we are going to wet in our sheet thoroughly so i'm going back and forth multiple time with the help of clean water to wet this particular area i want to wet this area thoroughly but make sure uh, this you should not have any uh, running water or that sort of thing and then with the help of sheet uh you can use any rough sheet or paper to cover uh, half of the area so that we will not get uh, this color in, the, in that particular area and then i'm going to sprinkle uh all the flower colors which i like so i'm sprinkling pink color purple color blue red those kind of colors and i'm just sprinkling it without thinking too much or without giving much thought in this now in the one third area only i am sprinkling some green color as well to uh, re- replicate leaves and stems you can also add a little bit of stems and the uh, grasses kind of structure in the lower section as my sheet is still wet so i can do these things easily and as you can see we are getting different texture of flowers and different size of flowers so that's totally depend on how you are wetting your sheet and how you are sprinkling your uh, color but make sure uh, you are using a little concentrated color as compared to the watery color is what i can suggest in this particular one and then you can add more stems which is quite visible for us as compared to just a sprinkling of some color i'm using sap green deep green i'm adding those green texture in between flower as well and then like we did in the first one create the cloud area uh, we don't have to do much on that part and you can also sprinkle a little bit of white color and little bit of clean water this gives you very nice effect when you are doing something like this and i feel this is the simplest painting one can do but uh, the only thing you need to consider in this particular painting is you have to use a good quality of watercolor sheet at least 3 gsm and uh, you can use little concentrated color while sprinkling these colors into the sheet and add more texture if you want to and i think we are almost done with the second one as well once your sheet gets dried you can add a little visible flowers as well like we did with the stems so that we can see the flower structure just highlight few petals and it's done we can remove our masking tape slowly uh without ruining our sheet so do it very carefully and i'm hoping this is very simple for you guys to paint something new and please do let me know if you guys have any feedback around this painting or what you think about these paintings and thank you so much for watching my videos see you guys in the next video